Hey, okay, so why, <laughs> why is my responsibility to love you? Now, this is something I've been thinking about for a long time. The first thing I recognize is, the first time I came across you, uh, now, you're years younger than me, but I noticed that you were walking with somebody, they look, they look to be around your age, and you were walking on the street with them going towards the dead end, and I was walking in the far back. Now, I kept seeing, you kept looking back at me, you kept looking back at me, you kept looking back at me. And I just look at, you know, I'm just looking at, like, okay, you know, she's the neighbor, neighbor girl younger than me. She's with a guy. She's curious as to who I am. Then I noticed that you continued to do this a few times. Then after you introduced yourself to me, you had done that. You had done it with, with another guy. So it kind of threw me off a little bit. But I noticed something very special. This is intensely a part of our theme. <clears throat> we had talked a few times after that, and then... With this gang stalking that had occurred, it's the same thing. You're you're with somebody else, but you're looking at me. You're with somebody. Else. So it is. It's really it's really a situation where you're going. You're looking at all these different people, and I'm you know I'm sure you had a chance to to be with people, date people, and stuff. And it always it your heart always seems to come back to me. You always seem to want the love that I have to offer you. And so now us moving. No, this is three, four years later, now, with this gang stalking stuff, it's obvious that this stuff isn't what you want. It's not in your heart. And so, after all this, after you got a chance to meet all these people and your attention keeps coming back to me, it's obvious my responsibility. It's obvious that this is where your love is. This is where your heart is. And it's my responsibility to give it to you. The one thing that we've had in common is that we both went through the experience of doubt. Where I I had doubt, I could I could have just, you know I could have I could just said so what she's walking with somebody, and just kept you know kept acknowledging you and talking to you because you came back and, and tried to get something, and then now, we've gone through this experience both together, where we're both deciding like you know hey do we want to do something, and then the only thing is we don't have any, <laughs> we don't have any direct communication, even without me being able to speak to you, even before I came on YouTube and started speaking to you. I still had more of a pull on you than the other people around you that you were talking to. I still do now. And I'm, I'm sure your family is looking at it like, what's going on? Why is JR over here having all this pull on her, especially since it came on YouTube, and we can't, we're having issues getting her to do... It's because your heart's not in it. Your, your, your heart's with me. You know that where your, where, where your love is, where your heart is, where your home is. And so ultimately, you want to be where your heart is, and you don't want to do that stuff. And so the only thing that's there is the doubt. That's what's separating us right now is the doubt. What we need is just open communication. That's it. And so, you know, my responsibility is to care for you, to love you, to let you know that I'll always be there for you no matter what. You know, whether you come talk to me right now or come talk to me, you know, whenever. That I know that this is where your heart is. And so I, it's my job to make sure that you feel loved and you feel okay. These other people you talk to and the gang stalking stuff and whatever, they're just momentary. They're not going to be there. They're, they're only going to be there for such a period of time. Then they're going to be gone. Then you're going to, then you're going to notice me again. And then see, so, so it's a theme we keep going through. And me as, you know, as saying, you know, I, I deeply care about you. We're both deeply connected, but at this point I, I really care for you. And want, I want to be there for you. What I'm saying is, all we have to do is erase that doubt and have open communication, and the theme, then the theme will come to an end. Then, you know, it's just like, you know, I mean, that's all it is, is open communication. And so we, we keep going through this theme, and it's obviously my responsibility. This is obviously where your heart is, where your love is. So all you, have to, all you would have to do is just step forward, and I'll be there to catch you. And what's the most somebody can say? That's where her heart is. And so she went to where her heart is. She followed her heart. And obviously, you know, obviously JR loves her. He wants to be with her. And she's always wanted to be with him. And so they came together. Who, who, who can say you did something wrong? If anybody truly cares about you, they would never say that was the wrong thing to do. And so, you know, I'm continuing. I, I, again, two weeks ago, I wasn't going to say anything. And then I saw that, then I saw the situation, and so 
I stepped in. And so I can, I can see that it's just my responsibility to take care of you and, and to love you. And if it wasn't so, we wouldn't be playing this theme out so long. How long has this theme been running? <laughs> how, how, long, how long has this been that you want to be with me and I want to be with you? It has been going on quite a long time. And so the ending, so we're both, we're both at a, we're both at a point now to where the gang stock program has nothing to do with any of this. Your family, I'll never have anything bad to say about your family, I love your family, but they have nothing to do with it. This is, this is a theme between me and you. This is about you expressing your heart and stepping up. Like I said before, there was a time where it was in my hands and then we got to this point. Now, now, you know, so all I can do, all I can do is, is keep showing you love and appreciation. But all I got, all, I don't have very, I don't, I don't have very much. I have, a, I have an extreme influence on you, but I don't even have open communication with you. If I was to have open communication with you, that'd be it. All it would take, all it would take, all it would take is you pulling up in the car and speaking to me or walking up to me or, or calling me on the telephone. That, that's all it would take. And, you know, th this is something, this is something that's coming into manifestation. A, a couple weeks ago, we wouldn't have been able to talk openly. We wouldn't have been able to express ourselves openly. You know, I've seen you, you I, I've seen you having tremendous issues with going through this stuff. And it's just silly because it's just a theme. It doesn't mean anything. What means the most is our, is our hearts are deeply connected and we both tremendously want to be with each other. And this is a continuation of, of our theme that's been going on for, for four years. And so all you have to do is, is just step forward. That's it. it obviously, obviously, you know this is where your love is. This is where your heart is. So what... Anything anybody else has to offer you is just inauthentic, it's just momentary. And you're gonna be you're gonna go through that, and you're gonna be, and there's gonna be something else, and then something else, and then in between those things, then there's gonna be me, and we're gonna continue the theme of <laughs> you know what I mean? It just doesn't it, it doesn't add up. It just you know I mean, at this point we're both aware that we both want to be with each other, you know I love you greatly. So just erase whatever doubt you have, just just minim keep I've seen you recently, you've been minimizing the doubt. As you see me having, I have, I have very little doubt. I have basically no doubt about it's my responsibility to love you and take care of you for the rest of your life. And I see that's what you truly want. That's what you had been wanting. Okay. I have so little doubt, I was able to come out and, and talk to you on here like this. If I had, if I had, if I was, if I had doubts and stuff like that, I wouldn't be on here saying this stuff. So all you got to do is just just go just go where your heart leads you and just step out and that's it just you know but like I said I'm not I'm not I'm not rushing or anything like that I'm not rushing I'm just saying that's my responsibility to take care of you and love you the rest of your life that's why I've been you know it's not going anywhere so you know this is where your heart is will be like that forever but just you know I'm just letting you know that uh, you know I'm aware that that's my responsibility